you were creating something new, right? You weren't just opening up another gym, another cycling studio. You were coming in with a brand new concept. Um, you know, as far as I've known you, you've you've had that you know creative touch. You've been able to kind of think outside the box, and you've been able to build. But you know, again, when you're thinking about now a business with people's money and your money, creating this new concept. Um, where was some of your inspiration driven from, you know, uh, you know, where, where do the creative juices come from and, and, and kind of like, how are you, um, building that confidence to take the steps to put something out there that hasn't really been tested before? I would answer this in two ways. I'd say first and foremost, for those considering starting a business and what we really thought about, um, was where's the white space and are you solving a problem? And for the team-based concept, we felt that the problem that we'd solve here is that we can connect humans on a deeper level and build stronger communities. And that will impact all areas of their life, whether it be their personal life or their business life, so just that how it impacted us. Um, and so that's where, and then going back to how we were wired, uh, you know, just playing team sports and, and having so much fun with that. And, and just knowing how team sports have really changed our lives yeah. from, <laughs> from, from our friend group to just all the lessons that we learned to how it strengthened our resiliency muscles to how we had to fight adversity and, and how as an athlete, it just it helped us throughout life. And yeah. so that was that we recognized that, okay, there's an opportunity to bring teamwork into fitness. Yeah. And we know that there's, there's a stat that it's some, somewhere around 75 or 78% of, of adults have played a team sport in there at some point in their life. Yeah. Um, but then after the age of like 21, it's, it goes to, it goes down to about 25% of people are playing team sports. So that's where we felt, Hmm, we know that team sports are really, it's like a universal yeah. language that the entire world speaks. So then, and people get so much benefit from it. Why is it that so few people play once they graduate high school or college? Yeah. So that was the, the opportunity that we saw and the white space that we saw. And I think what shaped that was really playing team sports and seeing the benefit from them. But then another layer to that is that my parents in particular, uh, they are small business owners. Uh, I actually grew up in my in my home. They operated their holistic wellness center, okay. where my dad was a chiropractor, my mom ran the massage business, okay. and my sister the acupuncturist. Okay. So I've been around entrepreneurs and small business owners my whole life, and around people who have dedicated their lives to helping others be healthier and happier. And so I think that's ultimately what you know what's in my DNA in and why this is something that. I had to pursue and had this burning desire to, to build something that would impact others in a positive manner.